here last year. It's much warmer this year. But the, uh, the sad thing is it's not better in Tibet. Over 105 people have self-immolated. That is a cry to the rest of the world to look at what's happening in Tibet. And I am a critic for human rights. So I'm going to critique this government. The Harper government signed 19 trade agreements, free trade agreements, and human rights was not a part but a side agreement. Human rights must be a core value, not a side value. As the vice chair of the subcommittee on human rights, I arranged for the prime minister, Sangay, to join us to give testimony. He sat as well with Thomas Mulcair, the new leader of the NDP, the man who has to fill the shoes of Jack Layton. Can you imagine how difficult a job that is? But he was there with the Prime Minister and gave his commitment to work to the benefit of Tibet. The reality is, is we have to get out in front. We have to be loud. Kind, gentle words won't do it. It's going to require us to stand strong and gather like this in places. Yes, absolutely peacefully. But to gather and remind Canadians and remind the world of what's happening in Tibet. It's happening every day. For people to get to the level of setting themselves on fire means that the life they're leading has no value to them, that the best value they can give to their community is to reach out with their life to tell the world how terrible it is in Tibet. It is very, very important that every Canadian understands the sacrifice, the courage of these people, but the reason that they're doing it is the repressive world that they're forced to live in every single day. And that is not acceptable. So we can mark this day as an anniversary, but instead we should mark this day as the day moving forward when we're going to make sure that Canada and other nations come together to ensure change and democracy and freedom in Tibet. Thank you.